Hello again everyone, it's Mr Brown and I'm coming to you with uh, my nice pink ukulele and this is going to be your second ukulele lesson. Like I mentioned in the first lesson when we went through all of the basics that you needed to remember and some of the basic chords that you need to remember, this session is going to be learning a song and the song we're going to learn is Shotgun. So I've chose to teach you that song because it's a song that hopefully most of us know uh, and it's quite a simple song. There's two things that I'm going to need to teach you. I'm going to need to teach you the chords, which luckily are the chords that we've already learned in the first ukulele lesson. But we are going to be playing them a little bit differently. And the second thing I'm going to need to teach you is the basic melody for the chorus of Shotgun. So it's the melody that we all know. Um, the couple of things that we're going to be touching on in today's lesson that we didn't look at in the first ukulele lesson one of those things is going to be strumming patterns or sometimes they're called picking patterns. So if you do have a plectrum, um, then you can use that in today's lesson. If you don't, it's absolutely fine. You can just use your thumb. But if you've got one of these, it'd be cool to give it a go. The plectrum I'm using today is a felt plectrum, which is something which is just used really for playing ukulele because it's got a nice soft sound rather than a plastic plectrum that you might use when you're playing guitar which has what we, what we would call a brighter sound. So it sounds kind of a little bit, how can I say this? It sounds a little bit sort of lighter and airier. So whereas this one, the felt plectrum, is a little bit softer. So we're gonna get stuck in, uh, we'll get your ukulele tuned up, um, and then we'll start learning the song, okay? Okay, so we're gonna get stuck into this. As I mentioned, you should have already learned the chords from the first ukulele lesson, so the ukulele basics, which was put up last week, I believe. Uh, so if you've listened to that video and you've had your ukulele out and you've been practicing, hopefully you should know those chords really well. Those chords were the C, the F, the G, and the A minor. So the order that we were playing them in last week um, is not the order that we're going to be playing them in this week. So first, first thing there, it is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be just the same as the, the lesson last week because we've got them in a different order first and we're also going to be doing a little bit of a picking pattern. So that's going to challenge you as well because you're going to have to not only think about where your fingers are um, uh, to be, able to, be uh, able to play the chords, but you've also got to think about which strings are you plugging and are you plugging them in the correct rhythm and in the correct timing. So that's something that we need to think about as well. So the order that we're going to be playing these chords today uh, it's going to be C first, then we're going to play an F, then we're going to play an A minor, and then we're going to play a G. Now we're not going to play them like that, we're going to play them slightly differently, but also, if we can, we're going to use our plectrum. So let me show you the order and show you these chord diagrams which we looked at last week. Okay, there we go. So we've got the C, the F, the A minor, and the G. Now, I just wanted to remind you that when reading the chord charts for ukulele, although they're written like this, like if it's as if the ukulele was like that, it can sometimes be quite helpful to think of them that way around, because that would be the way that you're hopefully holding your ukulele. So that does help you out a little bit. All right, so we've got the C, the F, the A minor, and the G. And underneath there, which we're going to look at in a little bit, is our melody. Now, this is what we call tablature. Um, it's used in guitar, in bass guitar, um, and it's also, it also can be used in ukulele, and we're gonna use that today. So I do wanna do a quick explanation of tablature, but I'll leave that until a little bit later on in the lesson when we get stuck into the melody, all right? We're gonna focus on the chords first and get this uh, picking pattern um, as good as we can. All right, it might take a little bit to get a grip with, but we're going to give it a good go. We're starting off with the C. Now, if you look at that chord diagram, if you can remember, the C, we're going to be on the bottom string of our ukulele and we're going to be in fret number three because that, that dot, dot there is in the third box along and it's in between the frets, remember? So that's where our finger needs to go, which is bottom string, fret number one, two, three. All right? Now the picking pattern for shotgun uh, is going to be a little something like this. What we are going to do is we are going to pick our second string down first, and then we're going to strum the chord. So it's going to be a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two for the chords. 
All right, so we're gonna go. Now it might be good for you to just play that C and continue to play that chord with that picking pattern. Second string down, pick, picking that string by itself, pick and then strumming the chord. So I'm picking, second string down, and then strumming the three strings below. So pick and strum and pick and strum, pick, strum, pick, strum. Practice it a little bit just with the C, because that's a very easy chord. It's one of the easiest chords we know in ukulele. So we don't need to focus too much on where our finger is. We can just pop it there and we can practice that, practice that. All right. And um, what I like to do is something called palm meeting. All right. It's something I might actually explain to you a little bit later on in the lesson, but it gives it that the sound that is in the original song. So it's uh, it's about putting our this part of our palm right on the bridge of the ukulele. It's called the bridge. This part here, and we don't put off our palm right on top of the strings, we bring them back so it's just touching it and it gives you this kind of muted effect. If I bring my palm a little bit further this way, it doesn't sound right. So you've got to find the right place on the ukulele to do it right back there. So you might want to try that out. It's a little bit of a tricky technique. So if you don't get the hang of it, don't worry, this song sounds just as good with no palm in alright? So, we're going to do one, two, three, four on each chord. So it's a one, two, three, four. So pick and strum, pick and strum. And then we're going to move on to the next chord, which was an F. So looking at that F, we have a finger on the top string in fret number two. And we have a finger on the third string down in fret number one. So that will be our second finger on the top string fret number two and our first finger on the third string down in fret number one all right now for the C we plucked the second string down first and then we strum the notes below for the F because we're playing this note up here we're going to pluck that top string first and then strum the notes below that so so pick in the top string strum the chord pick in the top string strum the chord and it's a one So that would be all right. It's the same method, the same technique, and the same pattern and the same rhythm as the C, but we just shifted it and we're playing the F. It might take you a little bit of time to get from one chord to the next chord. That's the challenging part about ukulele, and especially about when you're starting to play songs and you're putting these chords together. It's getting from one to the other, but you've got to be patient with yourself. Just practice that rhythm and that pattern on one chord at a time, and then take your time getting to the next chord. And I can guarantee you with practice, getting from one to the other will come a lot faster. So we've got that F there. Now our next chord is the A minor, and this is a very easy change because all we need to do is to take that first finger off, the one that's on fret number one there, we'll just take that off. So this was our F and we'll just take that finger off and that creates an A minor. So for this chord, same as the F, pick on the top string, strum in the three strings below after, so. All right, pick, strum, pick, strum. Let's join those three chords together. That's what we've got so far, all right? And then the last chord, which can be the trickier chord for a lot of people, is the G. All right, so let's have a look at the chord diagram. That's how the chord diagram looks. So I always like to think of the G. It reminds me of a triangle. And when I'm playing my chords on guitar and on ukulele, I like to think of these, these chord diagrams and the different chords that I learn as shapes, and that helps me memorize them. So that's my method. And like I say, the G looks like a triangle. So on the second string down, we have a finger on fret number two. On the third string down, we have a finger on fret number three. And on the bottom string, we have a finger on fret number two as well. This is how I like to play the G. I use my second finger to play the two on the bottom string. I use my third finger to play the three on the second string up. And I use my first finger to play the two on the third string up. And for this, we're going to 
same as the C. All right, so you're not you're not playing that top string. You're playing the second string down, and that's your picking note, and then you're strumming the chord. So one, two, one, two. All right. If you do hit that top string, it's not going to sound out of place. Doesn't quite sound as good, but if you do, it's not going to ruin the song. All right. So, but try and focus on playing that as your picked string, and then chord below it. So if we put all of those chords together in the right order and in the right picking pattern, it should sound like this. So that's the right, that's the right order and that's the right picking pattern. Now I was moving quite quickly from chord, one chord to the other, but that's because I've practiced loads and I've played the ukulele for quite a few years. So I am quite fast at changing chords. Be patient with yourself, that's going to come to you too. Trust us. So that is our chord pattern. Now this sheet, which has the chord charts on it, I am going to be um, taking a photo of and we're going to be sharing a link to this sheet so that you can view it on your tablet or, or on your computer or whatever, and you might be able to print it off as well. All right, so that's something that you can work from. And that is our chord pattern. I'll play it for you once more, and then we'll have a little try of the melody, all right? So C, pick, strum. So pick, strum, pick, strum. F, A minor, and G. Yeah, I'll try that again. Pick, strum, pick, strum. There we go, all right? Now we're gonna move on to the melody. All right, so this melody comes in two halves. The first half, which is slightly longer than the second half, and we play that three times. And then we have the second half, we only play once. It's just four notes. What I need to explain to you now is how to read this uh, this type of, this style of uh, music, which is called tablature. All right, we, it's used for guitar, and it's used for ukulele or bass guitar. So definitely, if you've had a lesson with me, or if you've had a lesson with anyone else at Musical Mates a guitar lesson, you've definitely used this, uh, this tablature. If you've had a ukulele lesson with me in the past, then you've absolutely touched on how to read this. But I am going to break it down for you again, because it's probably been a while, and I'm going to explain to you how we read this, this type of music. As you can see, we've got four lines, all right? Now, we've also got four strings on a ukulele. So, each one of those lines represents a string on the ukulele. So this is where some people get a little bit confused and I can completely understand why. This top line or this top string on the uh, tablature, okay, which is the, the, it's the string that we're playing all of the notes on today, you would think, uh, with your common sense, that that would be the top string on our ukulele, but actually it's not. That top line on the tablature is actually the bottom string of the ukulele. So it's upside down, basically. So every note that we're going to play for this melody is on that bottom string, the one closest to the floor. So let's have a little look at it. We have these numbers going across the top of the line. Those numbers represent our frets, which is extremely important. It's something that I talked to you about in the, the uh, ukulele basics video. Uh, the frets are one of the most important things that you can learn about. Uh, and this is the exact reason why we use them in chords and we also use them when we're playing a melody. So it's very important that we understand the frets and how to find them because some people find that a little bit difficult. So let's have a little look. Our melody is 5, 7, 5, open, 3, 3. The open is a zero. That means that you pluck the string but you don't put your finger on any of the frets. All right, so da, 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 da. That's that part of the melody. I'll play that on the ukulele for you now so you can hear that. So I'm going to find my fifth fret. Really easy because this is fret number one and I'm going to take my time and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Making sure that my finger, the tip of my finger, is what I'm playing with. All right, I don't want to be playing with this flat part. I want to arch our finger a little bit and play with the tip. So I've got fret number five and my finger's in between the metal bars. We've spoken about that as well. So we've got five, seven, five, open, three, three. I'll play that again for you. Five, seven, five, open, three, three. So I just took my time with it and I just used one finger. 
It is good to use different fingers as you progress when you're playing your ukulele as you get a little bit better. But it is okay to just play with the one finger for this type of melody because it's quite a basic and simple melody. Alright, so I'll play that three times so you can hear how it actually sounds. That's the first half of our melody. And like I said, and like it says on the notes, we've got to play that, play that three times. So that's exactly what I've done. And the second half is really simple. Three, open, seven, five. So I'll find my fret number three. One, two, three. Three, open, seven, five. So I'm going to put the first half and the second half together. Three times in the first half. So that's what it sounds like when we uh, when we join it together. All right. Also, pretty important to mention the rhythm there. There was a couple of notes that were accented. So accents are when notes have a little bit more of a um, kind of stand out, like more than other notes. I think that's the easiest way I can describe an accent. So the threes set we've got five, seven, five, open three, three, they're accented. And that's in, in the, the lyrics of the song, that's sharp gun. So that's the that's the tagline of the song, so that's the part that needs to be accented so people remember it. Did you hear those accents? So the first sort of the first four notes were quite smooth and they were more what we'll call the guard or so and the three, three was something that we could, we call staccato. So they were accented. They had a short, short sort of sharp sound to them. So that is the melody. Hopefully you understand that. And um, when you uh, download these notes or you print them off or you're looking at them on the computer, you can remember how to read them, okay? Because we've broke that down and we've went through that. So, I'm looking forward to seeing you in your next ukulele lesson. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the Musical Mates channel because there's so much uh, great sort of uh, mentorship and, and, and great lessons in there that you can learn from, from all of the teachers that you remember from school. And hopefully when things get back to normal, I'll see you for another ukulele lesson and we'll learn some really great songs. If you've got some any requests or any questions, drop us a comment and we'll get back to you and we'll help you out in any way that we can. Um, and, you know, stay safe, keep practicing um, and keep playing your instruments. So when we do get back to school eventually, yeah, you're ready to go and you've been practicing and you're ready to take on a new song and you're ready to take on some new skills on your instrument. All right, take care everyone and um, all the best.